everybody, Miss Melina here. Thank you so much for tuning into the second part of our vintage haul video. So this person dropped off a whole bunch of random vintage to the boutique today, and I'm gonna go through it with you. In the first video, you did see a mixture of like 1920s, like 1890s, and then there was like a 1990s scarf. So really, it's a bit of a mystery, right? So this box looks like it's mostly pocketbooks. I'm gonna grab a bunch of these guys. Pull them out. So they were really into gold Whiten and Davis purses. Like the little clutch. Looks like here's another one. This cute little red guy. Maybe like good for like a gift card or something. Rando drawstring bag. Pity point. feel like I may have owned this in like 1999 and used it at college. Here's another little guy. This beaded glass one's probably from Czechoslovakia. Oh, she's got a note. Gift from Tim Jordan. Purse was his mother's or grandmother's. Cute. Thanks, Tim. Black beaded guy more gold. I mean, I wish it was actual gold. Some white beaded. This is like 50s, 60s. Some of these damaged bits you will find in our bag lots that we're going to be selling. This is like a turn of the century coin purse. These fun little dagger type pieces, steel cut beads. Really sweet. Oh, she's got a friend with a hook for like a chatelaine. Gorgeous. This is like another newer beaded one. I'll go on a bag lot. Um, oh, in case you're feeling jazzy, some sequined appliques. They look 80s. I guess they attach with stickers. Um, accordion bag. It's fun. And the last bit in this box is turn of the century beaded sewing kit. And we've got another little note in here. ETUI needle case from Lois Boyer. Also very small black gunmetal purse. Cute. All right, so that's for the bags. I'm gonna put all this back and then pull up the other box. I'm especially excited over this one. Right off the back bat, we've got Ponji silk robe. We've got the original belt. The print looks like it's an all over print. Sometimes you'll see them just like along the back or along the hemline. Where are your sleeves? Looks like great condition to me, right? Beautiful. Yep, smells good. Oh man, y'all are gonna be fighting over this. You're lucky I don't wear black. This fantastic peasant blouse. We've got a label here. Hand embroidery, fast color, made in Hungary. Modex 50. Beautiful colors, smocking along the bottom. The underarms look good. She doesn't look like she was ever worn. Look at that. Fantastic. Let's look at the back. Yep, not seeing any holes, any pulls. And on the side seam of these older guys, you will find tiny metal snaps. And they're all there. So if she doesn't solve in this video, you will find her on Etsy. We've got some sparkle. It's like a leopard Lorex fringe scarf. What in the hay? Probably a tablecloth for Halloween. Um, a 
stack of scarves. Holiday. Holland. Some of these nylon things. So a lot of times if you guys see those bags that we sell on Instagram of like leftover bits, you'll see things like this in here. Stuff that we just can't really use for the store, but it's good for repurposing. Oh, she's heavy. Looks like an 80s does 20s style cream beaded all over. Black tie by the Hero Industries. Let's look at the back. Cool. I love this print. When are you from? Yep, snaps. She is 30s and long. Stunning. Looks like a bit of a train, right? And not super tiny. So I'm just going to kind of ballpark this waist and say probably like a 32, 34. Oh, and I love these tags. Check that out. So pretty. It's an old one. Great condition. Here's another 30s piece. Beaded top. Rayon crepe. Missing some beads. Looks like a little bit of staining. Maybe good for like a photo shoot or a costume. This is a piece you will find on eBay. It's username Molena610. Oh my gosh. Vintage lingerie has such a special place in my heart. This is insane. But, oh, we've got a little shattering up in here. And it's like a little bed jacket type top. Maybe she can be salvaged or like the collar can. No label. Really, really pretty. More silk. Leo by Shelly Siegel. Shelly, you were trying to be a Victorian blouse, but you're not. Nice silk though. Funky weird little polka dot. Looks like two pairs of gloves and a scarf. And a belt. Some 60s or 50s lingerie. Really beautiful little dress here. Maybe like for a kid, it looks kind of small. No holes. This is beautiful too. Look at the embroidery on this. Kind of reminds me of like plumes of feathers, right? Oh, she's inside out. Sorry about that. There you go. She just needs a wash. Make sure to check out my other videos on how I wash some of this stuff. We've got a 20s beaded dress. Is it a tabard? Are you a dress? Let's see, let's drop her gently. Gorgeous. This, because of the condition, this is a piece you will find on eBay, not on our Etsy store. What is this? little nighttime ch chemise, embroidered cotton top, some trim and bits, little rando, scarves coming to the bottom of this box. This is gorgeous. Yep. Love the embroidery. Oh, she's got a pin. 
good thing I've got my tetanus shot. Um, little bonnet, maybe? Oh no, it's like a little dicky. And the last thing, love the box, right? Movie star, leisure wear lingerie. I used to have an employee who would say lingerie. Lingerie, not it. Looks like we've got a little Penoir set. So the robe, this coral color, lots of layers and the matching nylon nightgown. Never worn, great condition. These are really washer dryer friendly too. They're just simple to kind of wear around the house. So that's the bottom of this box. I hope you enjoyed watching. We've got a couple more to go, so be sure to tune in to all of our platforms. Thanks so much. Have a great day.